In this video, I'll show you how I made this GoPro pod for trolling behind your boat when you're fishing. I think I'm just gonna use a ski line and tow the pod maybe 50 to 75 feet behind the boat. It should be maybe three to four feet below the surface. I'll hook a line through that downrigger clip and extend the lure about three to four feet behind the camera. And what should happen is I should be able to see the strike and then of course after the strike the line would release and I'll have another GoPro mounted up on the stern to capture the action from that point. I'll record in uh, 4K so that I can slow it down and you'll see all the detail. But anyway, uh, here's the video on how I made it. Thanks for watching. You could totally make this yourself and uh, here we go. The supplies you'll need is a two inch PVC pipe, a three inch to two inch PVC reducer, a PVC coupler, two inch, two inch cap, some stainless steel hardware, a teardrop zinc, a GoPro, a downrigger clip, and some paint if you wanna get fancy. I am gonna paint the inside of the reducer black I think that'll help cut down on reflections. So the reason why I picked two inch is, or three inch, is the GoPro fits perfectly right in there without any of the GoPro sticking out. And I think that's gonna give us a good view. It also mounted, the GoPro is slanted slightly upward. And I'm shooting for this to be about three to four feet below the surface. And of course the lure would be up above it and I think we'll get a really clear shot. So we'll see how it goes. So the first thing we need to do is remove the lip off the inside of this union so that this will slide freely onto this pipe. Put this on there and I worked it down until, until the whole inside is gone. Okay, so in case you're wondering, four and three quarters inches is the right length if you're using uh, the same material that I am. And once this, uh, once there's glue in there, that gap will be taken, taken up. I drilled it just slightly larger because I do, I'm gonna use an epoxy and I want there to be plenty of epoxy all around it. So I forgot to mention this stuff. This is 610 epoxy and uh, the application tube. This is what we're gonna use to epoxy everything together. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is put a hole in the side here to secure the, the eye bolt. And uh, what we wanna do is send this right through just above that washer that's in there. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess, I think probably right about here, and it needs to be just offset slightly. And when I send the drill bit through, you'll see see the drill bit down in there. I'm just just right above the. Uh, you can barely see it, but I'm on the back side of that washer, which is what I want. And then uh, I'll just go ahead and send it through the rest of the way. send that through it'll be above the washer like that and once I fill that with epoxy it'll secure everything in position okay so now we have the 
retaining screw, you know, the safety screw, all the way through the pipe. And if you can see down in there, it goes below or behind that, that washer, and I've glued everything together. So if the whole thing just you know falls apart, there'll be all these stops in between that help keep it together. Uh, this zinc is going to go right here, and I'm going to drill these two holes and uh, secure that. Okay, so I put a bead of epoxy on the back of this zinc and I drilled two holes to accommodate the zinc and I'm going to just send it right in. You know, I could through bolt this, but honestly, I don't think it matters. Okay, well that was pretty much it as far as the construction of the thing. Here's another quick look at the supplies that I used. Here's a view of it after it was glued up. And here's a view with the zinc mounted. You can see I put a couple screws through the sides of it to just hold the uh, glue joints together better. See where the zinc is there on the bottom and also you can see where I cut off that retaining bolt that holds the uh, front eye bolt on. Anyway, uh, I decided to paint it and also paint the inside black. Here it is with the GoPro mounted in there. It's a side view. And uh, here's a view of the second eye bolt that holds the outrigger or uh, downrigger clip. Here's another view looking down in. And uh, one more. You can see how I attached the GoPro. So anyway, uh, that's it. Pretty straightforward. You could totally build this yourself. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.